The explosion of pro gaming at the turn of the century has left the boomer generation shocked and appalled. At massive tournaments around the world, millions of dollars have been awarded to nerds for simply playing a game good. And that's not all. Streaming has empowered not only the best of the best gamers to make money, now average Andes are somehow raking it in as well. In this burgeoning industry of pro gamers and entertainers, a new trend is rising from a small subculture in South Korea. It combines the excitement of high-pressure tournament play with the intimate feel of the streaming environment and promises to revolutionize the way pro gamers monetize their skills. Depending on your point of view, these yearly earning figures might not seem too impressive. But for those of us in the StarCraft Brood War community, six-figure tournament prizes are a long-forgotten memory. Gone too are the days of team houses and many of the sponsorships that came with them. Released in 1998 and remastered in 2017, the greatest RTS is far past its popularity heyday. Sometimes credited as being the original eSport, Brood War competitions are still beloved but vanishingly few and mostly underfunded. The largest Brood War tournament in the world has a first place prize of about 22,000 US dollars, which is less than the median income in South Korea, and only one person can take home this prize. It's not even comparable with the unbelievable wealth doled out at tournaments for newer and more popular games today. Looking for other means of income as a Brood War Pro has become a necessity, and they largely look to streaming as a way to pay the bills while practicing for the tournaments. You can regularly find dozens of top pros streaming long hours throughout the week, many of whom have become full-time streamers. And surprisingly, some streamers have become top pros as well. Pro League was born out of this environment of struggling pro gamers, and although we don't know exactly when and who started the tournament, meticulous records have been kept of the player's earnings, which I will link for you below. When I started digging into the figures, I was shocked to see how much this phenomenon has grown over the past two years. I'm not sure where the ceiling is, but I don't think we found it yet because the 2024 figures are continuing to grow. So what is Pro League? How does it work? And how could the success of Brood War Pro League be emulated in your favorite game? Let's try to answer these questions now. Pro League, in its current and most successful form, is a 5 vs 5 team tournament where players face off in a series of one-on-one -on -one games to determine a winner. The exact format is complicated, but it is designed to draw out the event and create interesting matchups. If you want a deep dive on the format in a future video, let me know in the comments below. This is an event organized solely by the streamers involved, so there are no administration costs whatsoever. The audience observes the game through any one of the 10 streamers' point of view, which opens up a myriad of different viewing options, but sadly does not allow for casting. Everything about Pro League is impromptu. The streamers invite each other to join in on the day the event takes place and work together to decide on a buy-in amount. The buy-in amount is a minimum a player must raise from their stream or put in themselves to be able to participate in Pro League. A timer is set and the players reach out to their audience to try and raise the needed amount. Once the time runs out for gathering funds, all the money is pooled and team selection begins. The teams are selected using a random number generator to ensure that no team stacking or other unfair practices can occur. The games are then played out and the winning team splits the entire prize pool. All of this occurs within a single day and is often repeated multiple times each week, earning it the title of Daily Pro League Online. Pro League has become successful because it gives the audience exactly what they want. They can watch their favorite players in a streaming setting, compete for huge money in intense matches. The StarCraft scene is bolstered by Pro League because when players earn a lot of money, it stokes competition and signals to up and coming pros that there is something for you here. I haven't even mentioned the many levels of Pro League that exist up and down the skill tree, funneling the best players to the top, but still leaving opportunities for lower tier players to make money. This is a big point I want to drive home, that Pro League unlike other tournaments allows for a distribution of prize money that can support many pro players. Every day they compete, they have a 50% chance of their team winning. Even the players who struggle to win matches or have a bad day can still win money part of the time. I don't think this success story 
is only applicable to Brood War or South Korea. I can think of many competitive games that could be using this model to generate money for players and create great viewing experiences for audiences. All that's needed is a few streamers to give the format a try or create their own format that's more suitable for their game. Gather together, randomly select teams, gather donations, play great games.